Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new MLB stadium amongst us. For at least three years, yes, it is a minor league stadium, but it will host the former Oakland Athletics. I do believe they will be called the Sacramento A's for their three years in the west side of the city. It is Sutter Health Park, home of the Sacramento River Cats. And the first thing I'm going to do is show an overlay of of the new stadium where the A's will be playing from 2025 through 2027 in comparison to the Coliseum. You can see the Coliseum a lot more foul territory and you'll notice the outfield very similar in terms of overall dimensions. The new AAA ballpark is 403 to dead center. 325 to right field, 330 to left field, but you have to understand the climate difference, how hot it is in Sacramento. I think the ball is going to carry a lot better, and we're going to see significantly better offensive numbers in this new stadium in comparison to the Oakland Coliseum. So there should be a lot better offensive numbers overall. The park factors should improve significantly with the A's moving into not a, a smaller stadium in terms of capacity, but not a smaller stadium in terms of dimensions. It's not like AAA and AA ballparks are necessarily shorter, although some of them are, but generally they're about the same in terms of dimensions. But the move in terms of the climate going to Sacramento, another thing people were talking about, because of how hot it gets in Sacramento, are they going to have to change their start times, have more night games? Guys, I really don't think that's going to be an issue. Now, if they moved to the AAA park in Nevada, Las Vegas ballpark, I believe is what, is what it's called. Yes, they would have to have basically every single game at night. If you remember the Texas Rangers back when they had the Rangers ballpark in Arlington, they had a big problem, but when it comes to Sacramento, I don't think it's going to be necessarily a huge issue. I looked at the Rivercats schedule. They do play Sunday day games, so I don't think this stadium is going to be night exclusive or they're going to have to do some quirky stuff to the schedule overall. The stadium opening back in May of 2000, costing around $83 million in today's money. The big question when it comes to this stadium in looking at it, there is no second deck. There's no true outfield seating. Now, there is grass in the outfield where you could technically fit around 4,000 extra people. The total capacity on this stadium is 14K. It's 10K if you're just talking about normal standard seating. But if you include the grass standing slash sitting areas, it does extend to 14,000. And I will say... In thoughts of potential seating expansion for these three years, I don't think they're going to do it. They might do it. I think it'd be cool. It'd be unique to see a seating expansion to a minor league stadium. I do think it depends on the demand for baseball in Sacramento. And, and this whole thing ties into the idea, what if Sacramento has an amazing audition possibly to get their own team? I don't think it's going to happen, but there is the idea that maybe Sacramento has lured Oakland. They've offered them a good deal so they could potentially possibly down the road be in line for an expansion team if they show MLB that there is a significant demand for baseball in the city. But just think of it, the total capacity of four is 14K. The Oakland A's home opener attendance was 14K. So that just goes to show you, and right now they're averaging around 7,000. So the total attendance of this minor league stadium is double of what the A's are averaging currently. That tells me they're probably not going to expand seating very much, and I'm guessing they're going to outdraw the 2024 team in terms of total attendance when they move to Sacramento on the interim in 2025, just based off of the demand for baseball being a lot more, the fact that Oakland fans are boycotting this team, John Fisher, the entire situation. This ballpark did also host the 2005 AAA Minor League All-Star Game as well. And when it comes to this stadium, I would say it should certainly be an upgrade just in terms of a viewing experience in comparison to the Coliseum, Mount Davis, the amount of foul territory. It is more of a pitcher's park. This new climate, even though the dimensions are basically the same, you're also dealing with shorter walls in the outfield. That's another thing to take into account when you're talking about this stadium. And I do think it is different than the minor league stadium that the Blue Jays played at considering... The Blue Jays Stadium, the entire outfield backdrop was basically a highway. This is a lot more homey. It's a lot more comforting, and it really gives you the minor league feel, the minor league vibe. 
So this is going to be the newest MLB stadium that will be hosting the A's for three years. Now, I do think there will have to be some temporary renovations to the stadium to get it up to MLB standard, mainly stuff behind the scenes, adding more batting cages, adding possibly a practice facility right next to the stadium, along with other things. The question is, will they add maybe more suites to it as well? I highly doubt that. I don't think you build suites for just three years, although it is three years, so I do think they will be doing some stuff to it. If it was just a one-year thing, I'm guessing it would be just as is, but the fact that they are going to be there for three years, maybe even four, they've got that potential option to stay there four years if there's problems with building the new stadium in Las Vegas, and a lot of people are saying that Las Vegas thing isn't even going to happen. Could we see a situation where there's hangups with Las Vegas next year? Sacramento is selling out every game, 14K. They're getting people out on the lawn. It's standing room only. There's big issues with the situation in Nevada, and we just see John Fisher sell, sell the team and the owner of the River Cats, who also owns the Sacramento Kings, he puts together a group, or maybe somebody he knows puts together a group to buy the A's from John Fisher, and they build a brand new stadium, and the expansion city ends up being Sacramento. That could realistically happen, and that's why it's very important for Sacramento to get this team. They can pitch to MLB that there is demand for Major League Baseball. It's why Salt Lake City and their group that wants an MLB team, they met with the A's during spring training to potentially pitch hosting the A's for three years at their new AAA park that they're building that's going to be opening in 2025. This is a very important time for Sacramento, and I can only assume that they're probably going to sell out basically every game, at least early on in the season next year, considering the capacity is only 14K. If you take away the standing room areas, it's only 10,000, but that doesn't mean that they're going to add on more seats, although they might. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Either way, we should expect more offense. It's going to be more intimate. It's going to be a lot better than the situation for the A's right now, and believe it or not, it is going to probably be a better home field advantage. Sacramento, you know, it's an opportunity I'm sure they're hungry. The fans are to show some support, even if they don't end up end up getting an MLB team. It is still a cool experience to watch the opposing players come in and play, especially when you compare it to the terrible situation right now at the Coliseum. It is worst case scenario. And this is why I said there's no way. And I had said this several different times in different videos leading up to the A's agreeing to go to Sacramento. There's no way the A's could sign that lease extension and stay at the Coliseum with how bad that situation was. You're talking about staying there for three more years, maybe four more. It's just not going to happen. So this is definitely a more energized feel, Sacramento getting the A's for three years. And they are going to have to be called something. I know there was reports that the A's, one of their spokes, spokespeople came out and said they just want to be called the Athletics, but obviously when it comes to like looking at division standings, you're going to have to have a city there, <laughs> you know, it, it can't just be the Athletics, so I do believe they have fi filed for trademarks for the Sacramento Athletics and the Sacramento A's, so they're going to be the Sacramento A's, although it is just for three years, at least right now, unless some bad things happen in Las Vegas, then maybe Sacramento can make their pitch to keep the A's permanently Either way, this is the minor league stadium, and obviously they would have to build a brand new MLB stadium if they got the team. This is just because the Coliseum situation and the relationship between John Fisher and the city of Oakland is so bad, that's why this is happening. So in summary, this ballpark, in comparison to the Coliseum, it's going to be a lot more intimate, it's going to be a lot higher energy, a lot less foul territory, the dimensions basically the same, but the fences are lower and we've got a lot hotter temperatures. We're going to see the ball carry a lot better. There's going to be more offense in this ballpark, and they should be able to sell out basically every game, at least at the start of 2025. So, guys, that is going to do it. That is the newest MLB stadium. It's a temporary thing. It's not legitimate, but it is still kind of a cool little Easter egg. And it will, I would say, guaranteed receive some type of renovations considering this is three years. It's not just a one-year thing. They're going to alter it at least a little bit because they will be playing a lot of baseball here. Either way, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.